Chabo, Maya, Christina, Mwananga, Mwamzamani, Mwana wamina wosaseka, Mwana wamina wotirayumati mba Maya, Mwana wamina, Nitakili Mwananga, Nakuranda Shunene, Yari, 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 What's happening, everybody? As you know, your girl Shoma Josie back to BT and Jobic TV had to make sure that your girl is welcome back in style. So we're here at Or Tamba International Airport with Shoma Josie's family and friends and media industry colleagues to say congratulations and to really get to know what she feels like after winning such a big award. Let's check it out. relationship with BT Africa and other BETs across the world uh, is it strengthening year and year yeah I mean uh, you know BET is a, is a global brand um, you know it's a black focus on black entertainment um, and um, so I mean you know part of part of the BT awards is that we bring obviously you know all the different BT regions from across the world so so you have BT France you have BT uh, UK you have BT Korea uh, and obviously a BT Africa. And I mean there's always anxiety around black people, stories being told by other people but for for recent years you've seen black people taking ownership of the narrative and taking it to the world. Uh, what kind of opportunities are coming through for uh, African artists on the continent internationally? What kind of opportunities have you seen? I think I think what's important is that I think when it comes to musicians and, and, and artists is that they must think globally. You know they must think uh, uh, as they package their, as they package themselves and package their brands, their style. I think I think Shoma Josie is one example of an artist who stands out. She's authentically Shoma Josie. There's no other Shoma Josie. So being unique and making sure that you oh, you, you you bring something to the world that yes makes us all sing and dance and have you know shave or show, do all the good stuff, but also that there's great purpose and a deeper sense of your culture, your narrative, your language. You know, um, and let's take on the world, man. Let's let's take our story to the world. Twenty-five years into democracy, show my choice and her generation are showing us it's possible. Mm -hmm. We 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 struggled to liberate this country so that our youth are free mm -hmm. to express themselves, to go beyond the national borders of South Africa, mm -hmm. and that's what they are doing. 
when I won the BET award I was extremely emotional I think there's no doubt that it is one of the highest accolades you can get in the world and I was looking around and right near me was Cardi B and Rihanna and DJ Khaled and you, you the thing is you feel it you feel how much of a big deal it is so you know in that moment that happens and i wasn't really expecting it so you are overcome with like whoa i've entered like almost a new stage in my life there's people who are going to be aware of me now who i never imagined would know who i am and you feel the weight of that moment and yeah I, it was very emotional the kind of conversation i had with my mom after this um i think we both just like looked at each other and were like this is big because if anybody has seen my mom she's a lot like me in the way that she's uh, reacts to stuff and at the summers she was very excited and i was very excited at the summers and then when the bt thing came i mean it was just like this is all in one month you know and we had to really be like wow and i think we all just feel blessed and uh, yeah and we're going with it and what an amazing time so yeah there's this whole debate that's happening on social media on colorism i think a lot of people saw it and i'm excited to be able to finally say things that are a little bit more meaningful to make critiques about our society because we live in a very unequal unjust society and i'm glad that I, I don't just have to be a pop star and saying very light things. I can finally engage in deeper conversations because there is a problem. Colorism is a problem, just the same way that racism and sexism are a problem, right? I'm talented. There's no doubt about that. And there's a lot of, I, I, th I don't think you could make it as far as I am without being talented and extremely hardworking. But some people aren't even let in the door to begin with to show how talented and hardworking they are because maybe yeah people feel like okay if they're too dark skinned or whatever whatever um all these kind of issues that keep wo women especially out um of the industry and don't get to prove how hard working and talented that they are that's what i'm against and want to speak up against and um and that's what i'm excited to finally be able to be in these conversations because i'm smarter than i look